NG2 practical project. If you want to avoid failing, you have to avoid making mistakes around your hazards and hazard categories. Right, last one I'm gonna talk about here. Be specific with your hazards. If we take a look at this one here, it says slips and trips. We've got a hazard category, that's fantastic. And then it says various slip trip hazards. Well, that, what's that supposed to mean? Are they cables, boxes? holes on the floor, forks of a forklift, people, dead bodies lying around. I mean, I don't, I don't know. What is it? What is it? Be descriptive. Describe what the hazard is. You know, don't just say manual handling and then say uh, manual handling of stuff. <laughs> yeah, be specific so the examiner can kind of picture it in their head. So let's, let's fix that, shall we? So slip trip, what's it talking about here? It's talking about this one, it's talking about airlines, it's talking about cables, okay, great, right. Now this is all very descriptive. They put the effort in on that bit, didn't they? Put loads of effort in there, but didn't put the effort in here. So we say slips and trips, uh, various slip trip hazards, which include cables and airlines, slips and trips. Uh, airlines are usually trailing across the, the workplace and walkways, whoops, and walkways, and cables for power tools, also trailing, a variety of stored items uh, can be found uh, lying around during busy times. There we are. That's pretty good, isn't it? That's pretty good. We can kind of picture that now. We've got cables, we've got airlines, we've got stored stuff lying around. There we go. That's what's specific.